Hello, my friends. This week we're reading from the second portion of the book of Leviticus by Ikra. And it talks about, and it opens with the command to keep the fire burning on the altar, on the Mizbeach. And it repeats this command twice, to not let it go out. And we have an axiom in our tradition with the commentators that when something is repeated in the Bible, in the Tanakh, it means to tell us something very important. And we also understand that there is no words in the Bible that are superfluous. So what is it that it is trying to teach us? Perhaps, as one of our commentators tells us, Chizkuni, that he says that even on Shabbat, and even if there was some problem ritually speaking with the fire, it should still be kept lit. Now, I think in our lives today, there are many things that could potentially interrupt all the rituals and all the things that we have coming with us forward with Pesach, with Shabbat, the normal everyday life of our Jewish cycle. Yet, even in spite of all that may potentially come in the way of observing and of doing these rituals, it's imperative that now more than ever, we find ways to be creative, we find ways to continue to maintain those connections, that even if, even if there is a barrier in the way, that that fire should always remain lit. That fire should always continually be guiding us, inspiring us, and making sure that we stay connected. The Mizbeach was the, <laughs> one of the central parts of the worship service, the thing that took that brought the entire Jewish people together. So may it be today that we do not have an altar to keep lit, but we have that spiritual fire that we must keep all together so that we may continue to live our lives in fulfillment, in safety and health, but also most importantly, with connection. <laughs>